Hello and welcome to another series on my channel. My name is Don and today we are going to play some Planet Coaster. I've gone for one of these just random default maps that come with the game. I can't even remember which one I chose. Um, to be honest, I've not played a lot of this game. Uh, I'm going to be fairly poor at it. If I'm honest, I'm not even sure how this is going to go. Uh, it would help if I can find even the park entrances. Uh, let's go for a small one, just because I know how to sort of work that. But we'll go for this small planet coaster one. Um, so, as I said, I've played a little bit of this game. I don't really know how it's going to go. Um, usually when I go into a game, I'll always try and start with a plan. And, to be honest, right now, I don't have a plan, because... Being honest, I just don't know enough about the game. We're going to start with Ride, and we're going to start with the Gears of Fear. Now, the reason why I'm starting with the Gears of Fear is I'm a... Well, I used to play a lot of Gears of War back in the day. And Gears of Fear just sort of reminds me of that. So, we're going to get this. We're going to get a path coming in from here. Just stick to the path. It's similar to the one that's already there. Let's just increase the length to maximum for now, because we're just going to make this straight. And back to the minimum now, so place an entrance. So, the one thing I have noticed about this game is you want a massive, well, a big, a fairly decent sized queue. So, what I'm actually going to do is create a queue that just sort of goes up and down a couple of times. Rather than just going straight to the path. Right, so just something like this and then to go to the path the second time. And the reason why I noticed that, I just noticed it when I was playing around a little bit last night. Uh, well, the other night. was I just noticed that it was just so much more profitable with a larger queue. You're going to let me go down. Okay, it's going to do it there. That's fine. So now we need to place an exit. Exits can be short. That's fine. Uh, we will start the test while I set your price up to about $10, which I think is a fair price for a ride. And we're going to colour you red. It's darker red than that. We're going to go for red and blue here, just... Again, just a sort of Gears of War hallmark, just because it's Gears of Fear. And I'll go with blue there and red. What colour was changed there? Is it the seats, maybe? And that's why I'm not seeing it. Okay, I'm still trying to get used to the controls here as well. I do apologise, and I believe I've not actually got sound on here. Which, I suppose is maybe a good thing if I'm recording. If you want sound, just let me know. Okay, it's something down here that changed. Yeah. Okay, so it's down there and changed, yeah. So we're going to go for blue, red, blue, red. I think. Uh, generally, not sure where this is changing, but... I'll go with that. It looks... Not quite exactly how I'd want to, but it's fine. <coughs> um, has it finished its test yet? Yeah, so we can open. There we go, open. We still have 3,000 left in the piggy bank. So what I'm going to do with that is get some shops. I would like to have another ride here, so I'm going to sort of go further up. I'm going to start with some, just some basic. Can we get, no, we've got no information yet. ATMs, no. First aid, no. Let's go for some toilets. So, as it takes its time to render the building. Where is that sort of entry point? Oh, round to the side. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll work with something like that and then it'll have. I'm going to charge 20p for the use of the toilets. Is it just... Is there two toilet blocks? Yeah. So, toilet block two is fine. Uh, cross it off. 
toilet block one is what I want now. Come on, give me that. And I want to charge it before they get there. It's just so that still won't even make a profit, but it will cover it. It's cost a little bit. So I'm going to get our first people into the park. Which is nice. Uh, we've still got 2,000 in the piggy bank, so let's see. Can we actually afford any rides? Sort by price, low to high. So, yes, we can. We can afford a Willy Reg, Teacups, Vietnamian, Hyper Spin, Magic Squirrel. What's the most expensive rig we can afford? The Kick Flip. Okay, I don't think I'm going to go for that. Let's go for. Let's go for Wild Blue. This is sort of like the kind of en park entrance kind of ride, isn't it? So. It's the kind of thing I would expect to see on an entrance of a park, in my opinion, anyway. Right, place it exit. We'll just place it there so they can get out nice and quick. And create a queue. Right. I would say this is going to be long enough, but again, I'm just going to come back up one more time. Just again, just so it's definitely long enough. This might be a little bit of overkill. And what colour scheme to go for this? I wonder. Uh, so let's get tested. Uh, we'll get that off. Uh, colours. So again, we'll put it up to about $10. So, right, what colour is what right now? So, let's have a look. So, let's make this blue. Right, so that's the wings. Okay, so let's make the wings black. So that stands out. And white. Was that wings again? They were white and uh, yellow and blue, weren't they, at the start? So, yeah, so they're white and black now. That's fine, so, main colour, okay, that's main colour then, so again, we'll go black there, and then, what's red? Ah, the seats. Okay, we'll keep them red. <coughs> so once that's completed its test, which it has, we will open the ride. And again, hopefully get some people coming down here. Once we start making a bit of money, I will decorate these up before I do anything really. One thing I'm going to do quite quickly is buy, we don't got any shop shit so we don't really need a bin or a janitor do we? I hope anyway, I hope that works out okay. Toilet block one is not accessible from the park entrance. Oh the entrance is on this side, great, didn't tell me that. Oh wait there's one on each side, right, okay. So, this is me being a bit of a dafty. But I suppose it actually will allow me to sort of have a wee... A, sorry, a small commercial area on this side. Um, Scottish problems talking Scottish like everyone understands it. So there we go, that should be that problem solved. Um, and we're already starting to make a bit of money. Uh, let's have a look at the finances. So this cost us 3000 and something, I think. Yeah, 3100 and it's already made back a lot of that money. So that's good. Let's get some research on the go. Um, information kiosk, because I think that'll be quite important. We can just stick that next to these toilets. Um, so you get two rides as you come in, and then you'll get an information kiosk. I feel like I might have overkilled these queues a bit. I mean, this one, because it's just a short back and forth. This one's a slightly longer back and forth, so maybe a slight overkill. And this was sort of the worry I had with this game, was just because I don't know enough about it. Um, I was just a little bit worried that I'm going to run out of things to talk about. Tell you what we'll do is we'll start building the shopping facilities. So we'll get our first aid place in first, because I think that's fairly important. Which one of these looks better? Okay, just go with the basic uh, 
first aid center. Um, Z. Wait a minute, is this telling me that the entrance is this side? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to stick it here and start research. I just started research, so. Oh, I can have maybe multiples then. Okay, I'm just going to stick to having just the one in the early days. And again, there we go. First aid is open. Hope I don't need a queue for first aid. Uh, first aid two. Why is it first aid two? Is there, f is there one on the other side? No. Okay. I'm not sure why that's like that. Uh, it speeds on the basic. Um, we're getting more in here. Monthly profit plus 1,500. Toilet block is not accessible. Yes, it is accessible. I made sure it is because I noticed you gave me that the first time. Challenge available. I shave a senior day and of 60 and build a coaster of at least two inversions. Okay, I literally... This is another issue I've got with this game is I don't know the technicalities of this. So I literally have no idea what inversions means. Do you know what? I'm going to put the sounds back on. Um, the Missy, as I said, I mentioned it in the episode four of my Football Manager save. Um, me and the Missy share a Steam account, and I bought this game for the Missy's birthday. So it sort of worked out that I obviously get to play it as well. But it's obviously her game, and she tried to load it up during one of my Football Manager saves, and then there was. The time when I was just chilling out watching talent, she just muted everything so that she could play it. It's pretty much the only game she plays right now. I think this is running at full capacity, you know, which is good. Which is why I had the bigger queues as well, because like, when I first tried this game out, I had smaller queues and they weren't running anywhere near full capacity. So I think our first aid place is getting used. I don't want to charge people for using the first aid. I just... There's a limit of where I'm going to go. Uh, buildings, no, that's not what I want. I want to, uh, right, research, right. Let's have a look at our research. That's at 27%, okay. So I really want to get an information kiosk about here somewhere, just so it's nice and early. Or I could even go here, actually, next to the exit for, if it's small enough, I don't know. Uh, some lovely music there coming from our rides. Uh, we've got 1,200, so let's get some more shops in. Uh, do you want food, do you want drink, or do you want a gift shop? Or an ATM? Do you know what? Let's be some money grabbers. And let's have an ATM in here. Why am I not getting to... Oh, that's why I'm not getting to rotate it. Because I'm holding shift and not Z. So, we're going to stick an ATM in here just so people have enough money to spend in our park. And I think I'm going to stick it up quite towards the first aid because I can get maybe a small building in here. I don't think I don't think there'll be many small buildings, but hopefully there's one. Um, and again, we've got some more money in here, so let's get a food shop maybe. Burger store, chief beef store, village food kiosk, pirate shop small, can we fit a fire? Yes we can! Um, and it's got cannons, so we can actually fit that in here. And swallowed up a fair chunk of our money, but again, items for sale. Extra large burger will be 15 because I say so, and if you want to eat at my park, you will pay 15. And a normal burger will be 10. Like I'll just monitor the profits of these and now that we've got that I suppose we better put some bins in. Path extras and park bin. We'll stick one either side. I mean, it is a fairly decent sized queue there for our burger bar with its cannons going off everywhere. 
um, which is actually fairly off-putting. <laughs> yeah, and another fairly decent sized queue here. I think this is running at full capacity. How are you getting on? So you've made about 1,200 since we bought yet, and you've made a little bit as well. Yeah, really decent sized queue here. And can we actually charge people to use our ATM? Because yes, I am that bad. Let's take the capitalism right to its fullest. We will charge them a dollar for use of the ATM. And that will hopefully pay for itself over the month. Yeah, I'd like to make this sort of area just sort of like a food sort of area. I'm going to actually just go and complete this path way round. Should have done that before I did it to the toilets because now it looks a bit weird, but it'll have to do. I'm not quite good enough with the, again, at this end, it just looks weird. Um, but I'm not good enough with the thing to sort of... Okay, so we're getting basic hints, that's fine. I'm playing on easy right now because, quite simply, I just don't know enough of the game. So any advice would be most appreciated. Sitting with about 400 in the kitty right now. Uh, is this making a profit? I don't even know how much it cost us, but I think it is. I certainly don't think it cost that much. Uh, Pirate shop small 900 and it's already down to 100 light like, minus 100 so it's made about 800 already so that's really positive we've got another notification what's this challenge available build a coaster build a coaster of at least 500 meters long okay so these are ones that we'll get eventually i don't think there's any courses we can really afford right now so sort of by price low yeah see the madness, which I don't even think would meet our blend requirements, is 3,700. And I would like to finish off our sort of business part first. I'm actually going to hire a janitor now if I can remember how to do that. Park management, maybe? Yes, it is. Uh, staff. Janitor, mechanic, we don't need one of them yet. I'll hire one of them when our ride breaks down. If one actually does. Um, I genuinely don't know if he does. I'll be upgrading these guys as quickly as I can as well, but I can't upgrade them until the 24th of April. Where do you find out the date? 17th of April. Okay, so I just hover over the time. Um, and he'll start looking after the park, but now that I've got a burger bar, I feel I need to have one. Uh, shops and facilities. Let's get a drink spot in now. And we will have a... Drink shack, because I feel that'll go quite well with what we've got already. Um, and I want some sort of cohesion, even though it doesn't look like it's very uh, well thought out of at the moment. So again, this is the drinks bar now built. Whoa, 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 please don't go in. They're going to buy before I've put my prices up. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, so... These all cost five right now. Well, I'm going to be mean and make them seven fifty. Seven pound fifty. Uh, seven dollars fifty. Sorry. Extras, marshmallows, some. A little or a lot. Okay. Well, you're not getting extras. <laughs> Simple as that. So this cost about two hundred and fifty, I think. Uh, shops and facilities, 390. So it's already made half its money back. This is good stuff. So we're making a fair amount coming in right now. Still can't get our information, which I guess is fair enough. I'm going to maybe stick some more bins in here. Uh, park bin. Stick one there and one there. Once we get this all built up, I will put some. Uh, what sort of benches round as well. Wonder why this has got a rail. I maybe hit the wrong thing. No, because it's the same. Yeah, I must have. I don't know why it's got a rail on it. There's. I'm a little bit confused at that, but it is what it is. Uh, Chief Beef, let's see. You are now making profit for your lifetime. You. 
probably won't just now because we've only got the two right, so people won't run out of money. Toilet block. The toilet block's at one at 20 cents. We'll still lose money, but... I am not that greedy that I'm going to charge them a dollar to do their business. As much as I would love to do that, because I want to take it to its limit. I'm going to try and keep episodes for this to about half an hour. Um, so I'll probably record two or three in a go. Just so I don't lose my own rhythm. But at the same time, we'll take it how it goes. As I say, I'm fairly inexperienced at this game. Is there any other shops or facilities I can build just now? We've got a gift shop. No, we don't. Okay, so let's have a look. What can we afford? We've got first aid. We've got ATMs. We don't have information on locks yet. Ticket booths and park entrances we don't need. So gift shop's really the only other thing we can build, which would go here, I would imagine. So what do we want? Caribbean is going to be too expensive. Don't think it really goes with the decor we've got here. None of them really do, I don't think. I mean, I guess a castle would sort of go with this sort of theme to a small extent. Which side's the entrance here? Okay, let's try Z. Okay, so we'll get our road coming off of when we do it that side, so that's fine. So, I wonder if it's maybe then I've just... Hit it perfect then. Uh, I believe you couldn't get coffee shops, so maybe add another coffee shop here. But again, we do want to have another road coming out here so we can go to the next set of rides. Uh, before anyone gets here, can we get the price up? No, we can't. Uh, Crown will be 15. Pirate hat will be 15. Baseball cap will be 15. So if everything's just going to be 15. Because again, I like to grab money. And we're on easy, so let's just push the limits. And I will build up these queues next episode so that the queue rating goes up. I believe they'll both be fairly low at the minute. This is actually starting to make its money back. As is this. So everything's making good money right now. This is now profitable if I remember right. I uh, don't know what I just did. I just pressed something and everything opened up. Edit building, that's what I hit. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Average sale price, zero. But you're making profit, so I'm a bit confused with that. Lifetime guest sale, 64, so... It must be getting used to some extent. Need to get some lights around here as well, but again... That was quite bright, that change in thing. Plus 1,700 last month. Park rating of 51. I can live with that. Um, imagine we can't afford any other kinds of rides right now. Maybe teacups or something. No, we can't even afford a willow egg. Teacups is the next one I'm going to put in because what theme park doesn't have teacups? Although what theme park doesn't have a roller coaster or a boom boat? <laughs> Yeah, so I'll put the teacups in next, which we can actually afford now, but I want to get this information thing in as well, I want to just sort of get this bit sorted out, Wait, what's the dirtiness of the park like, happiness, energy, hunger, thirst, toilet, and nausea, okay, well all those facilities are available, you just need to go to them, so they're content with that. Can we get... Yay, reveal research. Progress. With some time of the episode to go. So, is there really any point of us searching all these? Okay, I'm going to do that. and I'm going to set this to a thousand to see if we can do it in a month. Okay, let's just do 1,500 then. I don't mind spending a little bit extra to see if we can actually get extra quite quickly. So we want shops and facilities and we want our information place now. 
So, because this will go quite well, actually, can we squeeze the information booth in here? Because this would go really nicely with our entrance. Um, where are you entering about? Like, are you going to give me any sort of snap to the path just so I can go? You say you're going this side, but again, you're giving me no snap to the path here, so. Is that the door in there? And a bin. Oh, there we go. There's a snap. That'll do. So we can get that nicely in there. And because it's so close to the entrance, I think that actually looks nice from where I was originally going to put it. Some rubbish down here, so I'm going to get another janitor hired and we'll upgrade the one that we've got. Yeah. Staff, janitor, and there you go. Can't upgrade till the 15 for me. That's fine by me, my man. And. And we will upgrade you. Staff training costs 120, that's fine. You're now very happy. You will want a pay rise at some point, but I don't care. We can actually afford our teacups as well. <coughs> yeah, so I did go a bit overkill on our rides, but I suppose when the park gets busier, that will be fine. And then I will be even greedier and throw up the prices even more. And I think just to help with this rubbish situation down here, I'm actually going to throw in two bins down here. Uh, one and two. Now we'll stick one in by the right entrance as well. One and two. I like to have one on each side just so it looks nice. Uh, and we will stick our new teacup ride in. Teacups, can we afford a carousel? Uh, Whirly rig, no. Just about a photo carousel. We'll go with teacups first. Oh wow, these are actually quite big. Right. Okay, go with there. Place entrance. I'm going to place it right in behind that. Now, what I'll do is I'll just come out and go right round and attach towards here where the exit will be. Right. Can I actually try and hit it there so that it actually. Maybe makes the road look a bit nicer. This does to an extent. Maybe not quite what I was wanting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and follow the the teacup ride round here, and I think that will be just about long enough. It's fairly big compared to what I was expecting it to be. I was expecting a really small thing, to be honest. Particularly when you're only paying 900 or something. Can we get it to hook up here? Oh, skill game. Not really. We're going to start the test while we customise the colour. Okay, that's a very teacup type noise. I'm going to make this six, because six to go on, because it's not the most appealing ride in the world. I'm going to switch past off as well, because that path icon annoys me. So. I want teacups to be quite kitty friendly, so I'm going to go for like light blues and light pinks here, I think. And oh, actually, I really like the yellow there. It was a misclick, but I really like it. Uh, stop test, open ride. On you come, boys and girls. And to celebrate, we will give them two new bins. Here and here. So I think that gives us a fairly solid start. We are making a fair amount of money. Um, to start with anyway, we've got three rides built. And I think I'm going to leave this where it is for episode one. We're actually getting quite a lot of people coming in the teacups already. Which is nice to see. The issue I've now got is if I put a ride here, I need to bring people all the way around. Which I suppose I don't mind too much. And a lot of theme parks are like that. Uh, so I'm going to leave this episode here for episode one. Um, I'm not going to pause it. I will literally be back in about two seconds to record episode two. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, episode two will probably be up in about 
a day or two after this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this daily or by daily or whatever. I'll maybe try and rotate it with Transport Fever. Uh, guess think Gears of Fear is great value. Okay, I will have a look at that in a minute. But thank you very much for watching this episode and I will hope to see you for episode 2.